Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kira Show here. Now then, before I begin, I don't know if I forgot to mention this, so I'm going to be mentioning it now in case I did forget. They do have their Phase 4 and Phase 5 implants. The Phase 4 implant, I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'm, I'm going to butcher that. Well, Phase 5 is the Lerman's organ. Now then. With that being said, let us continue. Whenever we last left off, Deku, he had just been dropped back off at the orphanage he left as a child. They are trying to get reaccustomed to things. Now, some local heroes would have come by to actually see that the orphanage is, well, it's back, basically. There seems to be the children that moved they came back exactly why exactly why did they come back though from what they heard that town in the himalayas was a lot better so it may just be that something happened now they would check in on them not actually being quite in shock a lot of these kids their hair color seems to be the exact same Along with, they are very, very much in shape. They seem to be at peak human performance. Along with this, well, giant boy is, well, he's monstrous. Now, they would walk up to Deku and hold out their hand to shake it, his. Him being quite a, well, mountain of muscle. He would extend his hand to shake it and start talking with the man. As this man thinks Deku is a full grown adult. Being quite surprised when he learns that he is only 15, well, 14. So, anyways, that will be how that goes. Along with the rest of everyone else getting their stuff moved in. As. All the girls that are in canon have moved into the church with Deku and the, well, the sisters. Them all getting separate rooms. Now, you have Ibarra, Karashima, Momo, and, well, Ochako. Hmm. Also, I want to say that you have two to three other, well, people. You would have, let's see, alrighty, that took me a minute, but I just, uh, well, I figured out some of the characters, and uh, this is going to surprise some of you. Now, for the males, we have Deku, he would meet four of his brothers. That he has not really talked to. He would be introduced to them because they seem to do what he usually does. However, he would have bumped into one with crazy hair. This one would have turned to him looking directly at him. Saying that so he's the corn marked, right? Yeah, what of it? Well, just know. View anything that goes against the chapter, as a deck would freeze, not really being able to move. The boy is saying that he can kill him in it with an instant with his quirk. I've learned to use it in a different way. However, it might surprise you what it actually is, as deck would finally be able to move once again. This one just walking away. As three more of the brothers would show up. One of them looks to be relatively short for a space marine. Yes, that is a play on the stormtrooper joke, before anyone says it. 
as this one has white hair. And, well, it's slimy. It's a bit different from what he remembers seeing. As this one has said that it's been a long time. As it is Mineta. You then have Kaminari, who he still does have that lightning bolt in his hair, but it's relatively just a lighter shade of blonde. Now, you also have the last brother, who would have just walked straight past Deku without saying a word. This brother, he is annoyed, and, well, doesn't really care. He wants to do combat. And as you'd ask Deku exactly if they, he can fight. Of course I can. What about you? Hmm. Well, you got a problem with that? As he would just hold up his hand. Deku can see sparks flying in them. Hmm. Okay, Sparky. Let's go. As the sisters would start by calming these two down, saying that they need to be careful. Listen to me. You're not here to fight one another. We just got back, so. As the sister, she would look directly at these two, saying that if they plan on fighting, then just understand that they will spend a month to two months in solitude, repenting for exactly what you do. These two would just stare directly at each other for a second, before they just somewhat hold their hands out to each other. Introducing themselves. As soon as both of them say their name, they would look at each other confused. Izuku Midoriya, Bakugo Katsuki. Everyone wondering exactly why they're looking at each other that way. Bakugo just saying it to Deku. Hmm. So this is where you ended up. I was wondering where your corkless ass was. Hmm. Surprised you know about that. Didn't really, uh, make it public. Hmm. Well, you just up and disappeared one day. I thought you died. No. After the doctor's visit, I kind of got dropped off here. What happened to you? Well, after we moved, things were a bit hard. Thought I was corkless, too. But turns out my quirk... Worse. Explosions. I'm seen as a... Crazed madman with that quirk. It's flashy, but people don't like flashy. They like what its purpose is. Mine being seen as a villain quirk. So. Hard to believe that you're the brother I've heard that's done so much. Corn marked, huh? Yep. Now. Eventually, time would pass. As you'll skip ahead to two months. Everyone has somewhat gotten relatively comfortable in their schools. But... Things are different. Everyone has been somewhat getting along and talking, and actually being able to train together. Usually, people know that they're the orphans, or the weird kids, since they all have the white hair. It being seen as a bit distracting or difficult. Since a lot of people want to comment on it, but they're a bit too... Intimidated by their sizes. Since even the females of their group are relatively large. They may be at least... Hmm, I want to say that... 2.8 meters. I want to say that at least the females will probably be... Well, all of them will probably not be under 5... Well, 5.10. So relatively tall. Now, with that being said, let us continue. Everyone is in class, 
the teacher is saying that he has a bit of a problem. Now, he understands that they all want to have careers whenever they're older. But, well, as he would just toss up the papers saying that he understands that they all want to be heroes. As a lot of them begin to cheer. This is where they would all somewhat just be confused. These eight aren't cheering or really saying anything. They're just sitting down. Looking to see what's going on. The teacher would say that he understands that those eight have applied for UA. So exactly, do you guys think that you'll be able to at least pass? Everyone's staring at them. They all seem to be... calm. As they would all just say that they're gonna, they're going to get into it. Besides, even then, nothing really bad can happen. We would just pass and that would be at the end of it. Huh, <sighs> yeah, Bakugo, I get it, but as Deku would just lean backwards in his chair saying that you both we all know that I'm gonna get the highest score. Oh shut up, corn. What? As a lot of people are confused by that nickname. Now, the class would end and everyone would stand up. Leaving. Deku and Bakugo are talking as Deku wants to train with him. Bakugo is the closest thing to physically as fast as him, since he can use his explosions to actually boost his momentum. Him being a bit more bulky, so he's able to at least keep up with Deku, but hold some relatively good strength. Karashima, she does want to train too as she thinks that she can just train her quirk. This will be a lot easier if she trains a Bakugo, as a lot of them are talking. Now then, they would all leave as they are heading back to the church. A lot of people would see this large group walking, and there's this thing that they're, well, college students or like high school students, whatever. Not really being anything to be intimidated by. Until they realize that they're young kids in the school uniforms. Of the academy that's close to the church. Now, on the way home, they would encounter the sludge villain. Bakugo immediately bringing his hands upwards and completely blasting his hands through the tunnel. He thinks that he got the sludge villain, but he really just, well, pissed it off. Baku would have walked forward, going to blast into some more of the sludge, as it would have all reformed around him, him being completely engulfed and attacked by it. As Deku would have ran forward, he would begin by jumping off the walls and actually trying to bounce around, Ibarra throwing out her vines to basically help Deku move around, to grapple around and move. Karashima coming in to try and directly confront and attack the sludge villain. Her being able to plunge her hands into the sludge, harden, and actually just pull them outwards and around. Mineta, he begins to throw around his slime balls. As he'd be doing so, sticking it to the sludge villain. He'd be able to hold on to parts of the villain, but... Yeah. They would turn to a sludge or... Well, his balls would begin to somewhat melt turning into a liquid that can actually hold the villain down properly. Mineta's cork has been altered by the, well, Gene Seed. It has helped improve and evolve his actual cork. So, that is how it's worked. Now, as soon as Ochako is able to get close enough, she would throw herself forward. Grabbing and tapping on a Baku as she would be able to help pull him upwards. Baku basically turning his hands downwards, blasting directly up. As these two would smash into the roof of the tunnel, Kaminari would immediately throw out 1 million volts. As whenever he does so, he would not fry his own brain. As they would all be a bit exhausted. They're basically just 
getting each other, well, getting their bearings on the situation, as All Might would have arrived. As soon as he realizes exactly what's going on, he would see that these eight basically in a scorched tunnel with vines littered all around the area, along with purple sludge on the ground and green sludge, along with the well, smell of scorched. Well, it smells like something burned, or well, an electrical fire. All Might, he's a bit more confused by this now. He would walk over to these eight, asking exactly what just happened, Oh, the guy attacked us. So we took him down. Besides, he tried to get our well, our brother here. Brother? As the eight would just pack up, saying that, yep. Anyways. Later, all might. As they would start heading in that direction. All might, he's a bit more confused now. Wait. They didn't freak out about me. So they're trained well, at least. Or no, that's not right. Everyone loves All Might. Hmm. That's, that is strange. Why did they seem familiar, though? As Momo would have turned her head, talking to Kirishima. As soon as All Might does look at these two a bit more closely, he realizes exactly why they look familiar. They're from the town in the Himalayas as he would have basically ran back over, saying that he has some questions he needs to ask. Exactly how are you all here? I'm sorry. As Karashima and Momo would immediately understand what he means. These two would basically walk in front of the group, as Karashima would push back Deku and Momo would push back Bakugo. They would begin saying that they're here because they plan on going to Yue. They were able to move back into the old church they used to live in. Or, well, the one that these two were at. We're currently taking residence there, All Might. The church is paying for it and funding it a bit well. So it's no need to worry. Hmm. I understand now. So. Other than that, how, was, how have you been doing since our last conversation, young man? As he would look directly at Deku. Deku just stares at him a bit, confused for a second. Um, I'm doing good? All Might finds this to be a bit confusing, though, but he decides to leave it alone. He is about to go past his time limit, and... No. All Might, he would just jump away. As he would lose the sludge villain. Everyone would be watching him leave. No one really paying attention, as Karashima basically turned to Deku, saying that he did not play it off well. Exactly how am I supposed to play it off well? I'm not sure what my actor said. Ah, oh, crap. As these two are somewhat panicking a bit. They were there for the whole thing, and they kind of didn't really tell him what his voice actor said, or well. The person who took his place while All Might was visiting. Bakugo is saying that they can't really dread on it now. Anyways, they need to go back to the church. The sisters are expecting us there, so we need to do that, and they will then properly let us train. Yeah, probably. As these two would basically try bouncing off one another. Deku making a snide remark, Bakugo making a sarcastic one. Just going back and forth. Now, Deku, he would hear something, as his ear would somewhat twitch, everyone being a bit confused, as Deku would turn and immediately take off running. As soon as that happens, they would hear an explosion, everyone looking upwards into the sky, seeing that that's actually pretty close by. As they would all start running after Deku catching up to him at somewhat of a good pace. People would be watching as Deku is basically running at around 25 miles an hour, running past everyone else and checking to see what's going on. 
as he would arrive in the district where the sludge villain attacked in Canaan. Now, as that happens, you can see that someone is being attacked. It seems to be a woman, so he needs to help her, as he just looks around. No one else is really jumping in. So it looks like this is his job now. As he would take a running stance, telling everyone to get out of the way. Everyone else would arrive as they would have immediately jumped past Deku, heading directly into battle. Momo, she would create a staff, and actually something to blind the villain. Someone of a smoke bomb. She would create it and throw them in the, into the area. Baku and Mineta working together. Baku would have tossed Mineta outwards with an explosion as Mineta would get sent flying. He would turn his hands in a, in a slime, or well, yes, slime, and he would immediately begin shooting it outwards, as if he were throwing blades. This being able to actually slap into and actually put the sludge villain into the ground. As it is basically keeping the sludge villain from moving away. As Mineta would begin to jump around and actually do this, covering the sludge villain in this goo. Deku would run forward, as Baku would have immediately gone, fo gone in and blasted the sludge villain. He would blast the hole into it as Ibarra would have thrown out her vines. As soon as she throws out her vines, she would have started pulling upwards. As Ochaka would run forward, tapping onto the woman, and tapping onto the sludge villain. Basically ripping the sludge villain into two pieces. The woman is still being attacked, however. And she's basically being held up in the air. Deku running forward and snapping the vines, grabbing the woman and immediately just pushing off the sludge villain with as much force as possible. He would then do so, getting the woman close enough to him, as Baku would run forward and begin exploding the villain as, as heavily as possible, destroying all the slime that is up in the air. And what's left of it, Ibarra and Kirishima, they would work together. She would be wrapping the villain around in her vines as Kirishima would begin to cut at whatever she needs to get free. Basically making a cocoon that is tight enough to hold the villain. As they would basically be told that that was insane and crazy fast. Now, they would actually be getting praised by heroes as the one would run up saying thank you, thank you, thank you. The woman looks, well, odd, odd to Deku. She seems familiar, but she also doesn't. As Deku would just nod his head, walking away. The, the woman would then just run over, over to her husband, along with her daughter, saying that they need to go home now. Are you ready? As the woman's daughter would just say yes she is. As she somewhat sparks fire from her mouth. The woman somewhat smiling. As they would walk away. Now. They would head back to the church as Deku. He gets things ready for their training. The sisters, they are somewhat mad until they realize that they actually did save a life. So they cannot fault them for this. Now, they would continue their training and actually start for Yue. However, All Might, he has gained an interest in these kids. He knows that whoever they, well, are, it is a bit of a mystery. So, this is going to be interesting. He wants to see exactly how far he can push one of them. Since he saw a gash go across Deku's arm. But if you weren't paying attention, you would have missed it heal. So, exactly what is wrong with this kid? Hmm. Now then. All Might, he would have that question linger in his head. As that is going to be where I, I leave this part off of, guys. Now, I realized it, I just now realized I have been saying it now quite a bit, so I am sorry. Anyways, 
that's where I'm going to leave this part off of, guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have an amazing day. We'll catch you guys later.